Mike coming home after two months at work. That's today's video. It all starts with getting all my junk out of the truck. It's the first thing I do. Once I'm done on loading my truck into my home here, you were part of, were part of my unloading process. I got all my electrical cables, supplies, computers, screens, and no, I'm not putting nothing away. No reason to, I gotta drive, so I just set everything out. I am gonna have to clean up this counter a little bit. There's some stuff I didn't show you, like, I took a shower. So I washed the RV. Now, it's time to head out. It's, it's time to leave. I'm showered, clean, go get some fuel, and off to Thousand Trails. Off Thousand Trails. God, I'm so happy. notice my cat is nowhere to be seen this happens every time we drive the motorhome she just hides in the truck she's out bouncing around laying in my lap climbing up on the dash in the motorhome while I'm traveling she's hiding somewhere and I have no idea where she'll come out when we get to the campground though I made it 25 minutes later welcome back to thousand trails where I want to go. I don't want to go down by the lake. I kind of want to stay, I think, up here in this area. No, too many rich people there. I'll bring down the property value with my motorhome. If I park up here. I think I'm going to get closer to the swimming pool again. That way, if I do order an Uber or somebody comes to pick me up, one of my friends or something, I don't have so far to walk because after seven o'clock, they don't let vehicles in here. I am that close to the swimming pool. Only problem is you park this close, there's kids. And these kids look like they have a bunch of toys. Look at those toys. I'm not going to be here much just here and there like right now setting up I'm going to be here obviously but after I'm done setting up I'm going to go do laundry and I might do a quick little barbecue and then I might I'm thinking head over to Epcot and see the new firework display before all the Halloween goodness starting tomorrow night I don't know let me finish cleaning all this stuff up and hooking up setting up camp isn't easy when you first come off the road and it's time to hit the campground after two months wow i'm telling you i'm just not used to it though it only takes me about 30 minutes to do everything so, you know put the awnings out hook the sewage up the electricity up the water up but then you have to come inside here then you have to vacuum start putting stuff away and it's just so much to do and i still got to do laundry ah chores 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 that swimming pool over there is definitely calling my name but i think i'm gonna hold off until morning be the first one in the pool bright and early as the sun's coming up no kids around because i know if i go over there right now all the snowbirds are down with their grandchildren and it's it's a madhouse around here one thing i kind of wish thousand trails would do at least here in Florida. I don't care about California, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, or none of those states. But because I live here in Florida, actually just a few miles up the road, it's getting that time of year where everybody starts flocking down here from the north. They're leaving their homes to get away from the cold and the snow that's soon to come, which I don't blame them. I, I really don't. But for locals, our camping spots are pretty much taken all winter long so 
when we come home there's no place for us to go all the northerners come down here and take up all of our spots at the campgrounds and the state forest everywhere it's just we have nowhere to go so i was one day it would be so nice if like some of these campgrounds like thousand trails set aside a section maybe 40 campsites this place here has nine like a little over 900 campsites set aside 40 campsites that if you're from out of state you can't get there you can't stay in those those are for the people in the state of florida if every campground did that set like you know depending on the size of the campground if it's like a smaller campground set like five or six aside if it's something large like disney or here at thousand trails you know that has 900 spots or more set aside 40 of them that way when we come home from work well, i mean i'm like one of the people that i'm a truck driver so i'm gone all the time but when i come home and i get in my motor home i don't want to stay at the yard i want to come over here by disney so i'm close you know uber wise where it's not 25 dollars to get over to the theme parks you know i'd rather spend five dollars to get to the theme parks than 25 so it'd be kind of nice and because i'm a thousand trails member it'd be it'd be great set aside a little area for us and for those that are you know working throughout the week local and and just want to get away for the weekend take their kids to the campground for the weekend it'd be nice to have a place to go rather than wait until the snowbirds flock back up north eventually oh things we got to do living in a tourist state anyway guys that's about it i'm done with pretty much everything i'm gonna damp the sweat off of my face maybe make a small salad for a snack and then head over and do some laundry and then come back here and barbecue and maybe head over to Disney for a little bit. That's the plan anyway. Until next time, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. If you want, up in one of these corners up here, you can click on one of those videos and check out the previous video that I posted or one that Google or YouTube suggested for you on the other side. And down below, there's a Patreon link. You can click it, don't click it, it don't matter be cool if you clicked it though anyway until the next time guys i love you all peace out everybody